Good morning. On February 21st at approximately 3 p.m. at North 84th and Highway 6, a plainclothes deputy noticed a 2010 Mustang driving all over the road and it did not have a front passenger side tire. The deputy called a marked unit to come help make the traffic stop. The Mustang was traveling eastbound on Highway 6, turned to the uh, south and stopped on 112th and got out and looking at the hood and was trying to open it. The driver uh, was contacted by deputies. They could smell an extremely strong odor of alcoholic beverage coming from the driver. They tried to take the driver under arrest, placing hands on him to place cuffs. The driver resisted, pulled away, ran into the field. A foot pursuit did occur. The driver then returned back to the vehicle, getting into it. A struggle continued, more deputies arrived, and the driver was finally taken out of the vehicle, placed on the ground, and arrested. He was taken to the adult attention facility where he tested a .222 BAC. He was identified as Hunter Tucker, 22, of Omaha. He was lodged and cited for the following. Resisting arrest, this is the second time he has done this to law enforcement, criminal attempt, willful reckless driving, stop or park on a roadway, and possession of an uh, open container along with DWI first offense. Do you guys have any questions? He was an intoxicated but was able to run? And he, yeah, he, he was able to run and fight. And uh, several of the deputies did have scrapes and bruises on them from the resisting arrest. None of them did go to the hospital. Uh, and again, he was lodged uh, for those following offenses. Again, out there on Highway 6, they were around a lot of vehicles because you can imagine at that time of day, uh, that's Cornhusker basically out that way, going towards Waverly. There was a lot of cars. So we're lucky nobody got into the roadway and struck. So uh, again, just another example that uh, you never know what you're going to get into in this profession. Uh, it's pretty early for someone to be that intoxicated uh, during that time of day. But again, it appears that he has some issues with alcohol and wanting to fight with the cops. What time is that again? It was about 3.30 when it all started. So he lost a tire, is that correct? Yes, he was driving, yeah, with a tire was off, it was on the rim, driving just all over the road. Do you know um, where exactly he may have lost it? We do not know that. Okay. Oh, it's kind of funny, nobody called, we didn't get any call-ins on that, because usually, some citizens will call in on that part. So, but uh, to my knowledge, we hadn't had anybody call in prior to uh, the deputy uh, in the plane vehicle locating him. Which tire was it? Uh, front passenger. Hmm. Were any um, tools used to try to take him into custody, taser, mace, anything like that? Not that I read in any of the reports. Uh, he was more just, uh, instead of fighting, he was just trying to get away and run and, and getting in the car. And then when he was in the car, he was just trying to stay in the car. He wasn't actively throwing punches or anything of that. How many deputies did it take? It ended up having three of them uh, out there and finally get them out. And, when, and he's not a little man. And when you get, when somebody, it's really hard when somebody doesn't want to do something. It, it takes more and, and to do that. And uh, he probably, well, being that intoxicated, wasn't feeling as much pain as what a normal individual would do either. How do you spell his name? You bet. It is, let me grab that. Tucker's T-U-C-K-E-R, Hunter, H-U-N-T-E-R, again, of Omaha. Is his first name Hunter or his last name? His first name is Hunter. Hunter. His last name is Tucker. Okay. okay. That's all I have for today. Have a great Friday.